Today I'm going to answer the question, why do motorcyclists or bikers wear vests? Welcome along for another hangout everyone. If you ask a collection of bikers why you wear a vest, you will likely get several answers. The benefits of wearing a motorcycle vest are many, but there is a real reason and most bikers won't tell you what that is. One of the most common answers is protection. Leather vests are a great option for motorcycle riders looking for protection and style. Leather or heavy denim is strong and abrasion resistant, making it ideal for withstanding the elements and road debris. Plus, leather vests are stylish and look great on any rider. So if you're looking for protection and style, leather vests are the way to go. Maybe it's the looks. Leather vests just look great on any rider. Some bikers might talk about comfort. Leather vests are a great alternative to leather jackets for motorcycle riders. They are more comfortable in hot weather and allow for increased motion and breathability. You will not only stay more comfortable than if you wore a leather jacket, but you'll also enjoy the increased airflow that is unique to riding your motorcycle. A vest will also keep lighter, loose-fitting clothing from blowing around while riding. For some, it's about style. Leather vests are a great way to embrace the biker culture. At the same time, they can be versatile and stylish. You can wear them with a variety of different looks, depending on your own personal style. Leather vests are also a great way to show off your personality. Patches and pins can be added to tell others about yourself and things you have done and things that you care about. And of course, you can't forget about safety. Vests are a great way to protect yourself from nasty falls and scrapes. High quality leather vests are designed to keep your skin safe from harm, so you can enjoy your ride with less worry. Although these answers are true, they're not complete. The real reason won't surprise you, but if you're not a biker, you probably won't know. Typically, motorcycle fashion follows function. Think of long gloves and high boots worn by motorcyclists at the beginning of the 20th century. Early gear was heavily inspired by another form of riding, horseback riding. Many of the needs are the same, and it's still true today. In the beginning, motorcycles weren't much faster than horses. As motorcycle racing started to become more popular around 1910, gear started to evolve. Racing and more aggressive riding brought about the need for helmets. Unless you're a biker, it's unlikely you've had much exposure to cuts or vests that were historically cut from denim and leather jackets. It's equally unlikely that you know much about the colors or patches that often accompany these cut-off vests. In 1924, the American Motorcycle Association formed in order to promote the interest of newly formed motorcycle companies and encourage Americans to take up the pastime. Groups of like-minded individuals started donning similar get-ups, usually heavy-duty sweaters, varsity jackets, and overalls. The AMA began hosting events and even giving out awards for clubs with the best overall look which gave rise to the use of identifying patches for clubs. In the 20s and 30s, the motorcycle uniforms were practical and safe, but didn't exactly read as biker to us today. World War II, however, changed the tone and the pitch of motorcycle clubs, and most importantly, the wardrobe of their riders. Veterans came home wearing leather jackets, khakis, and even blue jeans in a way that translated well to the rigor of motorcycle riding. Although leathers had been worn before the war and Irving Schott had been manufacturing his iconic Perfecto jacket for some time, they were styled more formally, almost like a suit. Strangely, it was the leather flight jackets brought back by veterans and not explicitly designed motorcycle jackets that changed styles for motorcyclists. Beaten up by years of flying and often printed with cartoon characters and pinups, flight jackets changed the rules. After the war, we began to see leather jackets worn more like Brando and less like a model from a Sears catalog. World War II marked the largest mobilization of American men in history. 
the great equalizer, the war brought millions of men into contact with one another in unprecedented ways and in totally foreign contexts. Naturally, ex-servicemen gravitated towards one another to commiserate and slowly recover from their experiences overseas. Many chose motorcycle clubs for a social outlet. In the post-war period, even before the outlaw biker clubs broke away from the so-called family clubs, bikers began to wear cut-off vests called cuts and attach their colors, patches that showed their allegiance. These cuts began as denim, then leather, and finally were available pre-made without the sleeves. Denim vests made sense for their versatility and could offer a modicum of protection, even in the summer when it was too hot for the rest of the gear, but the vest was the most iconic when layered over other pieces. While the material of cuts changed over time, gradually transitioning from denim to leather, which was of course more practical and safer, while a cut or a vest has several practical and aesthetic purposes, the real reason bikers wear a vest is to hold their stuff. Like the giant bag your mom would lug around everywhere, the biker cut serves that same purpose. Bikers have stuff, and that stuff needs to be transported in the same way. Next time you see a biker, you won't look at his vest the same way ever again. From now on, you'll think of your mom's giant purse when you see a biker's vest. Thanks for hanging out with me and letting me share my story with you. I hope it gives you some understanding about why bikers wear what they do. If you have questions or comments, please feel free to leave them and we'll see you next time.